northern visit is about asserting Canada's sovereignty. And that is the theme for this next story. The Canadian forces testing a prototype stealth weapon specifically for use in the high Arctic, as you're going to understand when Anne Gaviola tells us more about it. Anne. It is so top secret, Heather, that we can't even show you what it looks like, but we can tell you lots about it. Uh, the Canadian press has learned that this is going to be, or this is an ultra quiet snowmobile. There's a prototype out for covert operations in the Arctic. It comes with it a $620,000 price tag, and apparently Canadian troops have been testing it out this past winter in some of the most rugged conditions that they could find. Uh, they've been testing to see how quietly it runs, how it accelerates, as well as the battery endurance, very important in those chilly temperatures, and as well as its overall speed. Now, this very cutting-edge tool has been given uh, a neat nickname. It's Loki, and this is after a mythological shape-shifting Norse god. Uh, there are reports of this vehicle that first surfaced about two years ago. This was when the National Defense's Research and Development Agency posted a public tender for this project. They made it clear that one of the top priorities was that this vehicle had to be ultra, ultra quiet. And it was a Waterloo, Ontario-based company that uh, sent out the winning bid. Heather? I like it. You described it cutting edge. And it's really, you know, a chapter in the evolution of the snow machine, isn't it, Anne? That's right. It has a, a long and proud history. Many Canadians know a little bit about it. Uh, they've come uh, certainly a long way in the last century or so. The very first version of what we would consider a snowmobile is uh, something like this. Uh, it, it was essentially dubbed a uh, motor toboggan uh, in the early 1900s, it basically essentially an engine on a wooden toboggan, and then it evolved into something that looks a little bit more like the snowmobiles that we uh, know and love right now. This was in 1959, uh, Skidoo, and it was Bombardier that crafted this, and it was dubbed really the first true modern snowmobile. Three years later, they went on to patent their endless track technology across North America that many people are familiar with. Now, other advancements include fuel injection engines. Generally, engines have gotten smaller and smaller. And this hybrid electric uh, version, um, there are a lot of people working on perfecting this type of technology, including students at McGill University. They've been working on these kinds of prototypes since 2007. They've been dubbed sort of the best of both worlds. So you have the reliability of a gas-powered engine, and then you can switch over to the much quieter uh, electric motor, as it appears uh, Canadian troops are going to be relying on. Heather? Unbelievable, interesting, and snowmobile season not that far off, Anne. So uh, <laughs> don't remind timely me. Timely soon enough. All right, okay. thanks a lot, Anne Gaviola. Bye.